today's question is, should I be taking on little projects? And this is a very good question because um, no, not everybody should be. Um, so what kind of project does, uh, was this person asking? They were saying, should I be taking on, if somebody comes to me and asks for a living room project, should I say yes to this? Well, it really depends. And it always comes back down to small project versus large project. How you run one, you do not run the other. They are very two different animals. And not everyone is ready to run big projects yet. So maybe the small projects are your only option or they are uh, a fantastic way to grow your experience. So if you're already an experienced designer, well, no, I would say taking on a small project is probably not a good idea unless you have um, a way of uh, processing those smaller projects in a containment like an e-design that has very set boundaries, very specific deliverables and a very specific time limit and cost that kind of creates that as a package. Whereas um, if you're uh, an, an interior designer who's learning uh, on the job, who's just starting out, if you're somebody who's trying to get into the industry, well, a small project probably is a really good idea, but it still doesn't mean you should run it like a big project. So this is the this is where the beauty lies in understanding the difference between a small project and a large project. Even though this might be a big project for you starting out, it's still a small project. So you should not be running it like a big project. It still needs the boundaries of a small project. It still needs a time boundary, a project boundary in terms of budget, in terms of how much you're going to spend in terms of your time. You need to know what you're offering, how much that's going to be, and obviously what um, that's going to cost. Small projects, um, clients want to know the price and you will unlikely get a sale unless they do know the price up front. On a large project, it's completely different because the scope of work usually expands, it becomes something different, there's a broader um, meaning behind it, there's bigger value. Whereas on a small project, it usually is about price because you know it's a, it's they've got only a certain amount of budget and it really comes down to price if you're not a designer who cares about but, uh, that kind of um, project then no that project isn't for you you should be looking at the kind of different project uh, or bigger projects so i think this was a really good question because obviously um offering large projects um well, if you're a designer who wants to take on um, large projects and taking on all these small ones is just going to um, busy up your pipeline with the wrong type of projects. Um, but if you're an interior designer where these kind of smaller projects are what you need to start growing your confidence, getting um, some experience and possibly some portfolio imagery and reviews, this might be the perfect project, but you still need the boundaries in place. So uh, it always comes down to small project versus large project. You don't run them the same way. And um, it's up to you where you are as an interior designer and we all offer different things. That's the beauty of our industry. And um, what it is that where you're headed, where your goals are and where you are starting out right now. So hopefully that answered that for you. Uh, keep the questions coming because they're really fantastic.